And that breaking news, a man now charged in connection to an officer involved shooting at that Kroger in Colerain Township the other day. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Megan Mitchell. A Hamilton County grand jury indicted 42-year-old Joseph Van Neiman on a dozen counts. And WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live for us in Colerain Township to lay out what prosecutors say happened. Karen. Well, Megan, in addition to the indictment, he has been charged with uh, 12 counts. Like you said, the most serious include three counts of attempted murder. And in addition to the indictment, prosecutor Melissa Powers also explained in a written statement what took place here in this parking lot that led to the shooting inside Kroger. A suspected drug investigation escalates to a gun battle. Shot fired. We're at Kroger, 3636 Greenville. Right, we're at Kroger, suspect on with a handgun. going to be a white male, blue shirt, black backpack inside the store. It ends with two people hit, including the suspect, 42-year-old Joseph Van Nyman. We have two cases, one with us. Got someone to his head. The other one is a lawyer talking to us, shot in the leg. Prosecutors say an innocent bystander was struck by shrapnel. That man told us he was hit at least six times in the leg. We learned today this all started across the street from Kroger. Prosecutors say Colerain police were conducting a drug investigation and believed they saw Van Nyman involved in a drug deal. Police followed him into the Kroger parking lot where they say they ordered him to stop. Instead, they claim he turned toward them with a gun and took a shooting stance. Melissa Powers said in a written statement, officers produced weapons and Van Nyman ran into the Kroger store, taking cover near the entrance with his firearm still drawn. Van Nyman and police exchanged gunfire. Powers says Van Nyman was struck by one of the officer's shots as he attempted to move deeper into the store. Last update, he was still in the hospital and is expected to recover. And the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation is conducting a use of force investigation involving the officers. I believe there is body camera footage. However, police are not saying when any of that will be released. Reporting live tonight in Colerain Township, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.